Hello and welcome. Let's go over QVD fundamentals in this lesson. So what is QVD? Well, QVD stands for click data file. So it's a binary data file that click reads from and writes to. So what are the components of QVD? Well, there are mainly three parts contained in a QVD. First is the XML header, which describes fields in the table. So think of a table in a source system, such as SQL Server, Oracle, etc. So you have tables and you're loading data from a table. So when you think about QVD, normally it has one-to-one -one relationship between the QVD and a table. So table has number of fields and the XML header stores these fields. Then you have a symbol table that's being stored in a byte stuff format. And what is symbol table? Well, in the layman term, you can think of symbol table as a list box or a field in your application. By now, you must have noticed that fields always have unique values. And that is how symbol table stores data in a byte stuff format. And the third part is the data table, which is in a bit stuff format. And essentially, symbol table has a pointer to this data table. So data tables normally don't take much space. Most of the space is being occupied by symbol table. And this is why when you're building a model, you have to think about how to reduce size of a symbol table. You can use tools such as Rob Wunderlich's document analyzer to load the document and look at the size of the field and the field that has high cardinality meaning high uniqueness is not good for click sense so you need to try to reduce uniqueness or try to avoid highly unique fields in a nutshell qvd file has these three components now let's take a little deeper dive to understand more about QVD file. So what are the benefits of using QVDs? Well, you can always load data straight from the source into your application, but that's not the best practice. The reason to use QVD is because there are multiple benefits of using QVD file. For the starter, QVD files load much faster when you read data from QVD into your application. It's 10 to 100 times faster than loading data from source directly. When you store data into QVD format for a given table, there is one-to-one -one relationship between a table and a QVD. And let's assume you have multiple applications that require access to that table. Now, instead of each application connecting to the source system and pulling data from the same table again and again, you can create a QVD file that contains table data for that specific table and then allow applications to source data from QVD so it reduces load on the database. And it provides better governance and control because you can have a structured QVD architecture. And we're going to take a look at that pretty soon. So hold on to that for now. Also with QVD, you can perform incremental load. If you pull data straight from the source, you don't have that benefit. So often you have large tables, tables containing more than 10, 20, sometimes 100 million rows. So in order to perform incremental load, you have to have QVD. Since QVD allows you to pull data once and then you can add incremental rows to the initial load. And last but not least is the benefit of optimized QVD load. Essentially optimized QVD load is a load that runs in a super fast mode, meaning it runs even faster than the regular QVD load as long as the load conforms to certain rules, such as there are no transformation during the load, although you are allowed to alias fields. So there are few exceptions. So these are some of the major benefits of using QVD file. And it's highly recommended that in a production environment, you should use a structured QVD approach, meaning extract and transform QVD layers to build your application. So let's look at that QVD architecture next. 
Well, uh, let's start at the top with ClickSense application. And then let's assume that there are application specific transformations that you want to store in a QVD layer. So this QVD layer will contain multiple QVDs from multiple tables. And you can imagine performing joins, concatenation, etc. among these tables in order to create application specific transformation layer. This transformation layers are dependent upon extract layer. An extract layer is simply doing select star from a single table. So if you're using multiple tables for an application, each table will have select star, one-to-one -one relationship between QVD and a table. And then you use those QVDs to transform data. And then the application will consume transform QVD. So that's the hierarchy. And that provides a governance since now you have a structured approach and also as we discussed instead of each application hitting database to pull same table again and again with extract layer you allow all the applications to source data from that common extract layer so that's a quick overview of click data file or qvd files next we're going to work on creating QVD files in our application. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next lecture.